Hi there. So if you've ever been to a travel channel and backpacking, you've probably heard of Marina Wall. I thought I would mention my experiences with it because I've had some really good experiences. I want to share it. But when I moved out to Oregon about 25 years ago, I read a lot about backpacking, hiking, and wool came up a lot. But when I thought of wool, I'd always think of like thick wool socks or that ugly heavy wool uh, Christmas t-shirt that your mom buys you. And it never really dawned on me that wool would be um, lighter weight, but I got all that, you know, those heavy wool socks. I had those wool sweaters because it really works well in wet environments like Oregon. If you backpack in Western Oregon, at least, anytime other than late July and August, you're going to get wet and probably everything you own is going to get wet around here in Oregon. So wool actually retains its warmth when it gets wet. In fact, I wear wool gloves when I'm uh, scuba diving underneath my dry suit. And sometimes a dry suit glove pocket will flood. It's separate from the rest of the suit, luckily. And that will flood. And I don't even notice it because my hands are still warm because I have wool gloves on and they retain the heat. So when I started doing one bag travel and I needed to really be cautious about what I was throwing in my backpack to carry with me, I started looking at merino wool. I don't actually know what makes merino wool merino wool. It's all wool. I, merino is an area in Spain. Maybe that's where the sheep are from or the mills are from. But you can get this wool that's really like, wait, this is a merino wool t-shirt. This is not your, your uh, grandma's ugly sweater. It's super comfortable, wears super well. And I wear it in this particular lightweight yeah, this is a lightweight one, and it um, I wear it pretty much all the temperatures between about um, 12 or 13 degrees Celsius up to 20 degrees Celsius. Approaching Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius, getting warmer so above uh, the mid-70s, I'll switch over to uh, microweight, which is a much lighter fabric. You can kind of see through it, and it's, uh, but it's still wool, and uh, but it's not nearly, uh, it's much lighter and it's a little cooler to wear. Now, down below, you know, seven degrees or so, I'm going to be switching over to a uh, heavier weight. This is, um, this is a mid-weight wool shirt I carry with me. It's long sleeve, as you can see. And I keep this handy because sometimes those airplanes are kind of cold. Uh, you layer in the lightweight, cover up with um, medium weight, maybe put a wool cap on and then an outer shell. Well, that takes me down to, you know, three or four degrees Celsius. Um, if it's much colder than that, then I would need to switch to a heavier weight. I typically don't carry that with me. If it's much hotter than like 85 up into the 90 degrees or, you know, 25 degrees, 26 degrees Celsius, I leave that area and, you know, take my one bag travel, go somewhere where it's cooler. That's why I love Bogota up in the mountains uh, in the summertime. It's a lot cooler up there. So one thing about this Marina wool is it, there's not a ton of places that sell it. There's several, but not a whole bunch. And if you're, you know, a bigger guy, you know, I'm 191 centimeters tall. That's uh, six foot three. And I'm about 125 kilograms. I won't translate that into pounds. I like the kilogram sounding better. I'm a 3XL sort of guy, to quote Gabriel Iglesias. Um, I'm an and a, not a Ito sort of fellow. So I need 3XL or 4XL sizes. And that's actually hard to find. There is a website um, there in, I think, New Hampshire. Uh, they're a U.S. company. It's called uh, Minus 33. They're a wool company. They sell merino wool. Then they sell the sizes that fit me. And it's frankly the only place. So I'm actually going to plug them. I'm going to put their website here. They, don't, they haven't paid me. They don't know I'm doing this or anything. But the, they're a great source for merino wool for, uh, well, for ever, all sizes, but especially if you're a larger size person. And I appreciate that they're running on the size. Also, their customer support's really great to work with. Uh, I, um, I couldn't find, I had lost a couple of, uh, my, like my Marina wool socks. I found them later, but of course I couldn't find them when I was packing. So I called them up. I had something shipped out two days later. I had it. Of course I found the pair I was looking for, but I was uh, about to hit the airplane for a couple of weeks and I wanted my wool with me. So 
great company, good products. Um, I think if you watch the backpacking channels, everybody seems to love this stuff. I have heard one negative uh, review of the Merino wool. I think it's valid to bring up, which is um, it's delicate. You want to hand wash it. You can wash it with, you know, pretty much any sort of shampoo or lightweight, you know, wool light, whatever delicate soap you want to use. Uh, somebody said, if you use it in your hair, you can use it for wool because wool after all is sheep's hair. I use my shampoo bar to wash it by hand and my Airbnb sink when I'm doing my laundry. But I always try to wash this stuff by hand. I had a shirt, I put it in the laundry, went on, even on the delicate cycle, it got a couple rips in it. And maybe if you're better with sewing, you could fix these, that's not me. So the merino wool, it's delicate. You wanna be careful with it when you wanna wash it by hand. You don't wanna put it in a dryer. You don't wanna put it through ringers. You do want to take care of it. And I think that is a valid complaint about Maria wool is that it is something you have to be careful with. And it might not last as long as your trusty cotton t-shirt that basically is indestructible. So keep that in mind when it comes to not getting stinky, being able to wear for multiple days in a row like this. I haven't washed in a while, but it's not stinky at all. Trust me. I don't think it is. Uh, maybe that's why my wife isn't here anymore. I don't know. She ran out for the morning. Maybe I'll switch t-shirts and see if she comes back. But I don't think it stinks. The um, socks don't stink. The underwears, um, I try to wash them a little bit more frequently and they're easy to wash in there. But uh, none of that really retains odor. And it's great for having to wear clothes several times. And then it's super easy to wash and you just wear it again several times. I basically travel with uh, what I'm wearing. So one set of you know socks, underwear, and shirts, pretty much all I do in wool. And I have that and uh, two other sets of that, sometimes three other sets packed. And then I just rotate them and wash them. So I'm usually washing two sets at a time and wearing the other set. And, you know, I'll, I can get by three or four days before I have to do laundry again. Five or six sometimes, depending on how dirty I feel like feeling. Um, so this stuff really does work. It lives up to its name. You got to watch how delicate it can be. That's about all I want to share. I'm going to include the uh, minus 33 wool site in the, not saying that this is the best if you're small and can fit into other wool clothing. I'm not saying this is the best site. This is a good site, good quality products. And it works well if you're a larger person like me and you need to find the 3XL, 4XL sizes. Hope you find this useful and um, I hope you can get out there and travel. Thanks.